Hi everyone, welcome to day 20 of my 50 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analyst and business analyst interview question for SQL. Today we will be solving one of the data analyst interview question that was asked in Amazon data analyst interview. So let's see the question. Write a query to find the product that are sold by both supplier A and supplier B excluding the product that are sold by only one supplier. And let's see the table. In the table we have product ID, product name and the supplier name who sold the product. So what we need to find out basically all the product that are sold by supplier A and supplier B. So let's just write down the things that we need to solve this questions. So basically we need to find out the, all the product details. So we need a product ID, product ID and product name. We need all the product ID and product name that is basically sold by this two supplier which is supplier A and supplier B right. So we need basically it has to be sold by sold by supplier A and B. So if the product is sold by supplier A and B that is what we need basically. So we can use a where functions to basically select the data for A and B supplier. So let's say we want uh, all every, all the products okay let's say we want all the products which is a sold by supplier A and B. So we can use a where functions here where and we can say where the supplier supplier name and we can use the in operator here to say that see now we can see we have like multiple supplier which is supplier a b and c but we only want to see the data that is sold by supplier a and b so we can say that uh, supplier a comma supplier b so now if i just run this query it is only going to show us the all the product details which is actually uh, you know selling by all this basically supplier a and supplier b so let me just show you so now you can see we have basically 11 products which are sold by supplier A and supplier B. So because we have filtered the data for supplier C, we do not want to see that. Now only we want to see those product ID and product name which is a selling by both, both of this supplier. So if the product is a selling by both of the supplier, let's say the product ID 1. So product 1 is selling by A and B. We want to see this one. Now product ID 3 also selling by A but uh, not selling by B. So we do not want to see this one. Now product ID 5 product ready 5 is selling by a and b so we want to see this one as well so what we can do you can basically do a group by here okay we can do a group by and we can do a group by by the product id and product name okay so if i do a group by by the product product id and uh, product name okay so here i want to basically select the product id product id and i also want to select the product name okay so these are the things i need i will also do a count here now let me just organize it a bit so i want to see that the product id each product id and each product name basically they both are same thing are selling by how many basically suppliers so i can just go ahead and say count of this supplier name like how many seller actually selling this product okay so supplier name if i do a count and i can just make a name count of sellers sellers or suppliers right so that means how many sellers are selling this product which is product id and product name so this is going to basically you know basically check the count for each product how many sellers are selling each product okay so based on the product and product id and product name now I can just do a group by here by the product ID and product name. If I just run this query, you will see all the product ID and the total number of sellers that is basically, you know, selling this product, basically total, total number of supplier. Now this product, which is product ID 1, it is selling by uh, two, uh, 2 supplier. Now the second product, which is product ID 3, that is also selling by 2 and a fifth product is also selling by 2. Now seventh product is also selling by 2 and these are the product only selling by 1 supplier. Now the thing is that we want to ensure that the product that we are selecting it is selling by this supplier A and supplier B. Okay now how we can do that is basically we can go ahead and say having and we can just say this count okay we can say this count equals to so at least we want two suppliers selling this a product whatever the product we are filtering we want to see those product only which is a selling by at least a two supplier okay now that is fine now if I just run it I'm, I'll be getting all the product which are selling by two suppliers okay so if I just run it I see all of these products are selling by two suppliers now what I want to ensure that these two suppliers are not the same so I can use a distinct keyword here I can say distinct supplier name now I will only have those product which is actually selling by these two suppliers so supplier A and supplier B now let's just run 
Now before run it, we can just uh, check one or two product. Okay, maybe we can check for the product ID. You know, maybe product ID, maybe product ID three. So in the product ID three, you can see it is selling by two uh, sellers. Let's see the data. So product ID three is selling by only one seller, which is supplier A. You can see both the sellers are same. But it is showing because we have not defined this thing here. Now, if I define this thing, this seller has to be uh, not the same. Now, if it is not the same, it would be like supplier A and supplier B. Now, let's just go ahead and run it. Let's see how many product we have. Now, we have three products. These three products are selling basically by both the supplier, which is supplier A and supplier B. We can just verify it maybe by selecting one product, maybe the product seven. Let's see product seven is selling by how many suppliers. So this is the product seven that is selling by C. We do not want to see that. Okay now this is also selling by b and this is also selling by a so our objective was to showcase all the product which is selling by supplier b and a so i think this is fulfilling that now let's see the product id 5 so product id 5 is selling by a and selling by b which is also fine now see the product id 1 which is selling by supplier a supplier b so this is how you can solve this kind of interview questions so now i have a small task for you let me just show you the task so the task is that find the product that are selling by supplier c and supplier B but not selling by supplier A. You can download this data set from the video descriptions and run this query in your PG admin 4 to create the table. Then you can basically solve these questions. So this is your task for the day. You can write down your solutions in the comment box. I will check and let you know if you are correct. That's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. If you really like my content, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a good day. Take care.